Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Sky Event Recap. If you're wondering, yes, there is a lawnmower outside. It should stop when I record the rest of this. This week we're going to be taking a look at Farewell My Mask. Farewell My Mask is a Mafuyu focus event with a commission song by Ho Ho P. Ho Ho P is the creator of Hello How Are You? I don't think anything else. Uh, anyways, commission song is Ngeki. Been wanting Ngeki for a while, um, ever since I first heard it. I thought it was really good. Anyways, enough talking. Let's start the recap. Our story starts in Mafuyu's room where Mafuyu is studying, but is interrupted by a noise which she thought was her mom. Oh wait, actually, yeah, it was her mom. Her mom comes in and tells her that she should stop studying and go to bed, and then she kind of just leaves. Anyways, segueing to the next day, after Mafuyu has just finished an exam, she looks at her score and notices she did worse than she thought she would. So she goes home and lies to her mom and tells her that the tests are actually still being graded, but Mafuyu knows her mom will find out sooner or later about the bad test grade. Jumping to the next day, again, wow, we're moving fast today. The rest of Night Chord are in empty Sakai telling the Vocaloids that Mafuyu is taking a break from Night Chord. And then we're jumping to the next day again. In this next day, we are at the Mia Girls Academy, where the Vocaloids are in Mafuyu's pocket, just observing what Mafuyu does here. Nothing really interesting comes here, but the Vocaloids notice that her voice sounds a lot happier. Mafuyu heads to the study room, and the Vocaloids kind of come out and ask why she's taking a break from Night Court, and she explains that to them. She begins to study, but they notice she looks like she's in a lot of pain. That's what they say. Not my wording here. I don't know why they say that, but uh, okay. So since Mafuyu looks like she's in a lot of pain, Luca suggests that she should take a short break, and she does. During that break, she kind of just like works on Night Court like she does later. Probably around the evening time, Mafuyu's mom is having a parent-teacher conference, and while this parent-teacher conference is happening, the teacher mentions something about Mafuyu's test that she was hiding because she did badly on it, and Mafuyu's mom is like, huh? What? The test? That's that's done? Ex huh? Hmm? What? I thought you were still grading those. And then she learns the truth about that. After that conference, she called- my hand- why is it moving? <laughs> After that conference, she calls her cram school and learns that Mafuyu didn't go today. Later, at the Asahina household, Mafuyu comes home and begins studying. Then her mom comes knocking on her door to confront her about the lying about the finals and tells her that she will be cutting back on extracurricular activities. And Mafuyu's like, wow, this is great. And then she demands her phone. <laughs> Mafuyu tells her no, and, and then her mom blames like everything on Kanade counter for counting how many times this is gonna happen put put a one on the screen editing me and then Mafuyu's like how, how do you know about Kanade and I'm, I'm honestly kind of confused about that I thought she knew that they went to meet up I guess she didn't okay they have like a fight for the phone or whatever and when the dust settles the fish won <laughs> that's why you keep a lid on your aquarium like real really who keeps the lid off I'm pretty sure that was just so just so that just so that the phone could fall in there. Moving on to the next day, for like the fifth time, <laughs> Mafuyu's in school debating what she should do. Mafuyu's in school debating what she should do, or if she should quit night court or whatever. Meanwhile, in the empty Sakai, the rest of the group are wondering what happened to Mafuyu since she didn't show up for night court. Miku goes to try and find her, but couldn't reach her phone, so... So the rest of night court decide to go look for her. One day, I just disappeared. Little did they know, she got an invitation to smash! <laughs> Mizuki and Enna head to the diner where she thinks that my my Fuyu where they think Mafuyu might be, but little did they know, Mafuyu has actually just left the diner, because Mafuyu was there looking for them. <laughs> While contemplating if she should go home and study, a glitchy Kaido spawns in on her phone, which is currently on life support right now, and then she explains to Kaido why her phone is, like, on life support right now. Kaido says she needs to go tell her mom how she really feels, and Mafuyu agrees that she will. At the Asahina household. By the way, it's raining. That's like, that's like a really weird spot to insert that, but yes, it currently is raining right now. I thought that- sorry, move, sorry if you hear me with the paper, I have a script. 
Uh, I thought that was going to be more of an important detail in the story, but apparently the rain is actually not, even though like half the cars are based around the rain. At the Asahina household, Mafi's mom apologizes for how she acted and says she's making Mafi's favorite meal, beef stew, and she even bought fancy meat this time. That right there is class one bribery. This will be used against you in court, by the way. Mafuyu tells her mom that she needs to tell her something. Wow, I just said tell twice. And then Mafuyu just apologizes. Wow, great job. Then she has to keep making music with her group and her mom. Why is my hand shaking? Stop, what are you doing? She asks if she can keep making music and she tells her mom she won't let her grade slip. But her mom says no and tells her that she needs to put all of her energy into becoming a doctor and making her dream come true. Then Mafi says she doesn't know if she wants to be a doctor. And then her mom is like, um, actually, yes you do. And blames everything on Kanade. Add two to the counter, please. Then her mom starts crying, so Mafi reiterates that she does not want to be a doctor. And that she was just trying to be a doctor so she wouldn't be a disappointment to her. Then Mafi has some flashbacks of everyone being like, stand up for yourself and whatever. Weird thing that happened after that, Mafi gains the little eye shinies that she hasn't had like the entire story and that everyone else has. Random detail I thought I'd include that probably means something more significant. Anyways. Uh, Miku starts singing in her pocket, and maybe her mom is deaf, but like, how did you not hear that? After that weird singing thing, Mafi, Mafi recalls Mizuki's advice of just like, running away. And so she does. I don't know if Mizuki meant that literally or figuratively, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Anyways, jumping over to Kanade's point of view, Kanade is just in her house chilling like she does, and Kaido spawns in is like, go outside. So she does, and Mafi is like, just right there. There's like an ominous cliffhanger of Mafuyu's mom on the phone with someone and then the event ends and it does their cool ending animation. And that's all we have for the recap. Whoa, 10 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit this down. Uh, that was Farewell My Mask. Next week we are covering the the Leonid event. I, I don't know what it's called, but it, I think the commission is integral, maybe? I don't really know. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.